Good morning, everyone, from the swamps of North Georgia. I'm out here with Graham today, and our main target is gonna be mud snakes. The weather is pretty ideal for it. It's early spring. We had a lot of rain overnight last night, and it's gonna be humid and in the 70s today. So we're gonna rip around in the swamp, carrying rakes and raking through muck and leaf litter to see what we can turn up. And we're gonna flip a little bit of stuff too. So hopefully we'll be able to at least turn up a couple of snakes. And if we're lucky, maybe a mud or a king. So we're gonna get to it and I will update you guys when we find our first herp of the day. We're gonna start with this tin right here. Yeah, Spotted salamander. Oh, hell yeah. Two of them, there's two there, dude. Does. Nice. Hell yeah. They're big boys too. They are. So I didn't see this guy when we initially flipped it because I was too distracted by the spotteds, but there's also a brown snake right there. First snake of the day. Well, that was a decent first flip of the day. Actually, we flipped one stack that didn't have anything. Graham's currently being excited about his life for spotted salamander. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, nice little brown snake they were sharing their cover with. I think that is actually the first snake I've seen under that piece, so really neat. So we see plenty of spotted salamanders, but these guys are a big deal because they're Graham's lifers and it's actually a little bit late in the season to be seeing these guys. They've wrapped up their breeding and are currently back to dispersing through the wetlands where they will eat worms and feed and get nice and chubby in preparation for next year. And when it starts getting too hot, they will disappear entirely. So we definitely kind of lucked up with these guys today. It's at the very end of their season and I know Graham was really hoping to see one. So this is a pretty big find for him. And uh, it's really cool to be getting two spotted salamanders under my tent. Normally we find these guys pretty commonly in the, in the forest under logs and stuff, but it's really weird that they're suddenly popping up everywhere under tent now. It's definitely not something I was expecting, but not something I'm upset about either. These guys are awesome and I will take them however I can get them. So really cool salamanders. I know we've seen a lot of them at this point this year. So we're just gonna put them back under their tent after a couple quick photos. Hey, thanks for blinking. Check out this guy's leg spots. Very cool. He's actually got some yellow spots and some these bluish white spots on his side that go down onto his leg too. Really cool. Good looking salamander. There you go guys. <laughs> That's so awesome. It's always got some kind of amphibian or something under it. Look, see? Green frog. Giant crayfish burrow, brown snake. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a brown snake in the stack last year too. Maybe. A little guy, second snake of the day. All right guys, well we didn't see anything crazy under our flips, a couple of brown snakes and some spotted salamanders, but we're gonna be out here raking around for the rest of the day. A... Graham's found something over here. It was a oh, there it is. There he is. This is a nice little southern two-line salamander Graham just raked up, but we just carefully rake through this detritus and then we make sure it goes back right where we found it. And that can be a good way to find mud snakes in some areas, but it hasn't worked out here just yet, but we find lots of other cool stuff while doing it. And I have hope that eventually it will produce a mud snake. So that's what we're gonna be doing out here today. Hopefully we'll see plenty of other cool little critters like this two-line salamander in the process. Here's another nice spotted salamander, this time under a big log. Look at that guy. Third one of those so far today. Very nice. All right, here you go, big man or woman. I think that actually might be a big woman. I love watching them just push their way under cover. Mm -hmm. It's a nice dude, look. Graham got a marble salamander. Oh, he is nice. Very clean. Mm -hmm. Clean and even spots on that guy. Here's two more marbled salamanders. One there. And one there. It's going to be very salamandery out here today, I think. But that is perfectly fine by me. And those last two marbles were there. And sure enough, next log over. Number four for the day. And a couple logs over, another spotted. Tons of salamanders out today. 
and they're all stuff that we have seen more than plenty of over the last couple months. So until something new shows up, I might take a break from the salamanders. I'm gonna take voucher shots of them, of course, but I might not bother with too much more video. <laughs> yeah! Graham's hey, got him! Good to see you again, Dude, buddy. that's a smaller one. Yeah, this is a different one. Ugh. We got a turtle! <laughs> Dude, that was a... I never even saw that thing. Graham sniped that guy. Yo, chill out. Here, I'll come, I'll come wrangling. Well, there is our first turtle of the day that we've actually gotten a good look at. This is a common snapping turtle, the smaller of the two snapping turtles that could be in this area. And uh, this is actually, we thought it was the same one we found last year because it's in the same little area, but this guy has a real convenient notch right there that you could easily identify him from. This is a new turtle. I think this is actually our first snapping turtle of the year, weirdly enough. He's got a little bit of a weird eye infection going on there on the left side, it looks like. Hey there, grumpy. I don't want to hurt you. It's okay. You can relax. We're buddies. What an awesome animal. All right, well. It's always a good day when you get a snapping turtle. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to get some quick shots of this girl. Greg's actually on his way to meet us right now, so we're going to wait till Greg gets here. Probably not. And then we're going to let her go. Yes. Graham's stuck in the mud, and he's absolutely covered in it. <laughs> oh, and I broke my shoe now. Oh, no. And I can't find, okay. Oh, and at some point, oh. Greg's gonna come stumbling through the woods. Is... <whistles> there he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna hit her with one of these. Yeah, the scoop. There you go. Actually, we'll put her on the other side of her log. Can I go? Just disappearing goes. into the depths. All right, we got two snakes here. We got a Midland water and a plain belly water. I'm gonna try to prioritize grabbing that plain belly. Well, as usual, the plain belly got away and I only got the Midland, so. We're just gonna put him right there. Turtle Greg strikes again with our first musk turtle of the day, a nice loggerhead. Wasn't really expecting to see much in the way of turtles because of how muddy the water is, but Greg has his polarized glasses and superhuman turtle spotting abilities. So we were able to get a nice loggerhead. But anyways, we see these guys plenty. This is the first one of the year though, so I'm gonna get a quick photo and then we'll let him go. There is yet another Midland water snake. We're not gonna mess with that one because he's not the best looking, but another snake for the tally today. Hopefully we can find some of the nice, really vibrant ones, but so far it's just been a lot of typical looking guys. He's moving a little bit. There's our first queen snake of the day we've actually managed to get a good look at. We've seen a couple jump in the water, but he's doing his thing. You know how queen snakes do. They hang out over the creek like that, so we're not going to mess with that guy too much. There's a nice red one. Look at that guy. Beautiful Midland water snake get his chin. That's a really good looking animal. I think this might even be the same one I saw here a couple weeks ago, but it looks a little bit not quite as bright, but also when they start Thank to go into needs. shed, that could be why, but still, stunning snake nonetheless. In that belly, dude. Yeah. Crazy. Look at that. Fantastic looking Nerodia. That's our next find of the day. Just chilling over the water. Looks like the only snake in this little area, even though it looks pretty prime. Thing seems cool. All right, look at that. Beautiful belly on this guy, super healthy. A little bit grumpy. Normally queen snakes don't have too much attitude, but this one's a little bit spunky. Really nice though. Good diversity and good numbers going on out here today. But once again, we just need some sort of king snake or just something to top it off. It's been a little bit We've been seeing a lot of the usual characters, but not really much of what we've been targeting the last couple outings. Yeah. Just right in and see what we 
yeah, beautiful queen snake. We're gonna put her back in her bush after a couple quick photos. All right, here's our next snake of the day. Flipped a nice little worm snake. There has been an absolute abundance of these guys the last couple of days, but it's a different area. And this guy actually looks like he has the Eastern worm snake phenotype, which is kind of neat. But yeah, another species for the day. It's rounding out to be yet another good numbers and decent diversity day. We're just not finding any kings. You ready for a flip? A yard flip. Yeah, very. Where? Right there. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's a slimy. Here's a ring neck. It's the first snake I've gotten under this piece. <laughs> look at that little guy. Oh, look at him go. But uh, yeah, we got a nice little ring neck here. First ring neck of the day. And actually the first thing I think I've flipped under these pieces right here that aren't in focus for some reason. But we're doing a quick flip here at the house, hoping to kind of turn the day around. But yeah, first snake of the day here at the house. We're gonna put him back under his tin and uh, keep flipping, see what else we can turn up. Two snake, or is that, that's an earth snake. Yeah. I thought it was two snakes. I was confused. Oh, there's a ring neck there too though. So there are two snakes under there. Ring neck here, earth snake there. There goes a ring neck and Nice smooth earth snake. That's a nice adult too. Yeah, he's big. They get a little bit bigger than that even. Very nice. Snakes are up in the yard in decent numbers. We found two ring necks and an earth snake so far and we've barely started. So we're gonna keep at it. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I've never found anything under this. At least not, not anything that wasn't a ring neck. Oh, oh, oh. Is it? Deep. Oh my god, dude. Hell yeah. That's the best thing we could have found. <laughs> dude. Well, we just flipped an eastern hog right after Noah said that he never sees things under this piece of this stack of tin. That is an eastern hog no snake. My first not in the state of Colorado. I kind of want to get a camera in C2, but I don't think that's going to happen. Not gonna happen. Let's just pull him out and hope he doesn't play dead. Okay. I'm gonna try it uh, with my. He's so big, dude. Holy that is big. That's about the size my one, my first was. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. <laughs> he's trying to bury. Well, needless to say, our day has been turned around in a big way <laughs> with one piece of tin. That is so awesome. He's being so good, too. Hopefully that's not a hole. Dude, look at that snake. Yeah, that's a big hog. Completely black, unlike the ones that we have back home. Acting just like that first one that we did see back home. <laughs> look at that. That is so awesome. That's the best thing we could have found today to end this video. Or it's not gonna end the video because we didn't find enough. I don't think we got enough for a full video. We might have. Today? Yeah. Nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. But yeah, Eastern Hognose under yard tin. <laughs> what an ant. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get that, I gotta get that. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at this snake. <laughs> I cannot believe that. We've been having such a rough couple of days and then we come back here. I said, I've never flipped anything under this p particular stack of tin besides ring necks until today. What great timing. Good boy. <laughs> what an awesome snake. Anyone who watches this channel regularly knows that I have a soft spot for hog noses. Yeah, Graham found what? What was it? The, the I found the second. I found one? the third and fourth ever found in the state of Colorado. Yep. So, and now he's getting to see a nice, completely different looking snake than the ones he's <laughs> used to seeing in yeah. Colorado. 
I, I here. found one on a hill now. <laughs> <laughs> Tickles actually really badly. <laughs> All right, Caitlin's here now, and she came to look at the hog nose. But look at that. That's about the best thing we could have found here today. So we're just gonna let him crawl back under his tent because we don't want him to play dead unless, you know, a lot of them are prone to play dead and then some of them you kind of have to mess with them. And this guy's been pretty cooperative so far. So we're just gonna try to let him go without causing him to play dead. No. <laughs> He's good. All right, we're gonna let this beauty go. What an awesome snake. And we still have quite a bit of cover to flip. So maybe we'll see some more stuff. All right, I think we're gonna be able to successfully release this guy without making him play dead. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna put him down. Yeah, there we go. There he goes. Race runners? Yeah, a couple of them. There's three of them under there. That's cool, you want me to nab one? Sure. They mellow out a lot once you catch them but on the ground, they are incredibly fast. These are the only Eastern representative of a group of animals that actually is quite diverse. There's like dozens of species of whiptails in North America, but the six line race runner is the only one we get here on the East Coast, so. The skink, that's a Southeastern five line. That might be a lifer for you. I'm sure we've seen them, but you might not have had one in hand yet. Here's a couple of ring necks. Two of them. There are two more ring necks in this stack. This stack's not in the sun, so it's kind of cool. Well, that could end up being our last snake of the day. Nice little red bellied snake under these stones that are sitting in limbo in my yard. I'm gonna end up putting them out somewhere else for milk snakes, probably. But they produce red bellied snakes here pretty well. I've seen a couple of red bellied and a couple of earth snakes under them. But yeah, that might be the last snake of the day if we don't see anything else. All right, everyone. Well, it has been a bit of a slow start type of day, but I think we ended quite well here at the house, flipping quite a few snakes, including that ridiculous hognose snake. It's possible that that was a recapture of the big hognose we found two years ago, I think it was, or in 20, it might've been three years ago in 2019. But yeah, either way, fantastic to see that snake again, if it's the same one. I think it might've been a different one though. It looked a lot bigger, even though that other one was quite big. Either way, what a fantastic way to end the day. I know a big hog nose was pretty high on the list of things Graham wanted to see, just because they don't get anything that looks quite like those out there in Colorado. Their hogs have a lot more pattern on them, and they're, uh, they're just a very different looking snake out here. But yeah, it was a great day in the swamp with Greg and Graham, and then a fantastic finish here back at home. So I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Graham's got two more days here, so we're going to be hitting it hard for another 48 hours before I have to take him to the airport to go home. So yeah, check in for the next episode coming your way shortly.